exactly four. Here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, your weather authority. Well, we're figuring about one to three inches of snow uh, from that system, and uh, indeed, that's pretty much what we received across the area. Most of you getting uh, the lesser number there, the Dias Auto and Truck Weather Cam. Uh, boy, this is a winter time shot, <laughs> at least in the area area. Gray skies overhead, and uh, we do have uh, some uh, light snow showers and flurries. Right now, uh, the snow is more steady in the morning, but it is starting to wind down. As you can see, a storm tracker showing uh, the bands of snow starting to move uh, out. Moving out of Cleveland as well. Winds have shifted northeast. That's just not a good wind direction to give us uh, a lot of snow. See a lot of light blues here. We don't see that a whole lot on the map here. Those are wind chill advisories uh, for Warren and Chautauqua County areas east where wind chills tonight and tomorrow could get to minus 15 to minus 20. The other reason we don't get a lot of a lake effect snow is the lake starting to ice up here. Here's the latest graphic, and uh, this one red means that anywhere within these little sections are at least 90% covered with ice. So 90%, 90%, even these little ones, 90%. So almost full ice coverage. Nice little hole here. And then uh, close to the Erie, we're starting to see this is where a little ridge is, so it's not quite as deep. So that tends to freeze first. Deepest part of the lake, eastern one third, and that usually freezes last. As you spread the picture out, uh, Erie, shallowest lake, not a lot of ice. Uh, on the other lakes here, you can see just coastal ice. So we still, northwest flows could still give us a pretty good batch of some uh, lake effect snows. Here we go, nice uh, picture. How has January looked so far? It seems like we've never had a warm day, but uh, many thanks. Craig Flint again for making this map. Uh, no, it was as late as the, or as late as the 19th. We were at 43, so not too long ago. Uh, but you can see we've had an extended period of teens and 20s. Uh, this is now, uh, this will be probably today, of course, uh, will also be below average. So we're looking at, uh, looks like day eight uh, or nine of uh, very cold air. But that will change early next week. Temperatures are falling pretty much in the teens right now to lower 20s farther south. Uh, but that northerly wind will continue. You can see a lot of clouds hanging around here. And uh, we do expect, uh, again, a very little snow for the balance of the afternoon. Now for tonight, a little convergence here along uh, the lake shore. Uh, that could very well lead to maybe uh, perhaps a quick inch of snow here along the lake shore before the sun comes back out. Cold for today, and then uh, we'll have or cold for tomorrow into Sunday, but the warm-up will be coming as we head toward next week. Forecast here along the lake shore, light snow and flurries. Temperatures will be holding in the upper teens. Temperatures will fall into the upper teens on the inland side and then the Chautauqua Ligany area as well. We will be having, again, a little bit of light snow. Very cold tonight, single digits. Wind chills down to minus 15 for tonight, maybe up to an inch of snow in Erie. Early light snow and then mostly sunny for tomorrow. Temperatures uh, mid teens, mid 20s tomorrow, one to two win or Sunday, one to two inches of snow. There's the 40s for Tuesday. And we should get close to that for Wednesday and Thursday as well. Get the latest updates of that forecast anytime.